Yay! So this is the old panel, but with the um, glue that, that is not dry yet, apparently. So I'll put this away. Yeah, it's still sticky. But I need to uh, fix this one as well. The one we did. So I'll grab a piece of metal. I'll grab a piece of metal. Oh wait, no. Let's attach some uh, foamy tape. I did it on the other panel as well and I'll... <clears throat> because otherwise uh, the metal will rattle all over the place. And in this case I'll use some of this window stuff. I mean, probably, yeah, gluing it down would work better, but that would, you know, that's final. And I don't want it to be final. Ooh, do I have enough? That would be nice. So one roll appears to be just enough for two panels. Yeah. No, it's enough. Sounds good. I mean the coffee. So... And this is cool, if you put the metal on there now... I don't know if it's cool, it's not cool for my purposes, but... So I'll put the metal on, like sort of how I want it. And this this stuff reminds me as well uh, to the what's the instrument called with the pokey things and a piece of metal. They're resting on this kind of foam, and if I, you know, uh, tick well, if I like, uh, you know why. It sings, but if you push it down, it doesn't. But uh, yeah, I thought that was really funny. I'm still not sure how that works. I mean, ah oh, well, fuck it. Who cares? Anyhow, I'll uh, drill in some screws. Too many. And then the ringing stops and uh, what it does do is it makes sure it doesn't rattle because that's another thing. Ringing and rattling is are different things in this case. If I push it down, that's better, still there is some, but uh, it, it might rattle if I don't use this stuff. I thought I'll cut the coil, but it's 11 o'clock, so I might, you know, maybe do it tomorrow. When you see this, it is probably already tomorrow. So I'll just do the magnets and then um, call it a day. I think that's the best idea. Not dicking around forever, which I usually do. So, um, where is my piece of wood that I used? Hmm. Where did I look? Oh, here it is. Here it is. So, since this part is coming from the inside of here, it's not a perfect fit, as you can see. So, I have to, like, line it up. So, what I'll do, in this case, I used a 5mm cutter, so I know there's a uh, space all around that is 5mm. 
So I'll just use one magnet or two and just adjust all the stuff and then put the others in. I'm afraid I don't get these out. Uh, That works better. So uh, the holes are a bit like uh, tapered currently. So my either my uh, spindle on my CNC is out of trim, or it's just the cutting force making it tapered, which is not, which would be more terrible. I mean, trimming my main spindle like the cutting motor is easier than uh, solving the other. It's 5.2, so it has to be five all around. Oh, well, that's good. I'll uh, let the cat in because I hear some noises. Hey. Tiny pussy cat. She's making all kinds of noises. So they're not glued in, they're just their own magnetic strength is holding them in and uh, apparently the distance from magnet to magnet is just far enough to not like um, squish together. So this one's supposed to be here. So although this is not my work. Jesus, it actually does take some time. So although I think it's simple, it's probably the most asked question, how are the magnets arranged? Let's say this is north, facing upside, north, south, north, blah blah blah, etc, etc. So, they're like changing over every time. So this is the same that tracks. So it goes. So it goes here. Ow! Fuck. And now the next row should not attract. So not like this, but the other way around. I think for base panels these these ferrites are a good alternative in between rubber and uh, ferrites or sorry rubber and neodymium. I mean neodymium would be too like too powerful and as well I need still need surface area in my opinion. So if you would have you would like to need like gazillion neodymium magnets because they're far smaller if you want to reach the same surface area if you did then they would be very efficient but a little bit too efficient I, I think because in the end uh, you just need to move air a lot and you cannot like increase xmax well you can of course to a certain degree but if you will put this whole thing full of uh, neodymiums the efficiency will be so high and the surface area will still be rather small so you can play loud with like almost nothing but you cannot like
play louder than than this setup. So to me, that's a waste waste of money mostly. Now hopefully we can get rid of this piece of wood. It's a bit. Next time, if I would make something similar, uh, it would not be such a tight fit. So here are a few magnets that are stubborn. And there we have it. No glue used, so if you drop them, it's going to be a mess. If you put this panel too close to the other one, it's going to be a mess as well. But yeah, actually it's the same panel, but with like a less than half the wood, the amount of wood or MDF it took for the other one. So I'm, I'm pleased with this. Damn, this thing weighs like, I don't know, kilo or six or something? I don't know. I wonder what it weighs. Let's see what it weighs. Oh, so if it was six kilos, this skill would not take it. So let's see. I might be completely wrong. Oh, it cannot take it, so it is more than five at least, but maybe not six, maybe it's more. Yeah, this thing is hard to... Okay, 5.4, well almost. Damn it, I think the, the, the scale was closer, I mean... 5.3 Okay So now we know And that useful information, not really, but who cares So yes, I'll leave it for, for today I'll make some membranes tomorrow Maybe I'll add some felt over here for dampening um, later on, maybe. But it depends what you want to do. If you want to reach low and want to use the resonance as a like base boost, then you don't want to use too much felt. So I probably do not use felt and I can always add felt if I want on the back side or I can remove this panel from the metal and then I can add felt felt if I want. Cool. And I'll put it somewhere safe where it's not sitting next to the other panel. Oops. Or this piece of metal. See you around. Bye bye. Hopefully tomorrow. Who knows?